All right, let's take a look at unit four, um, lesson one, growing and shrinking. So we're gonna take a look at exponential change. A bank account has a balance of $120 on January 1st. Describe a situation in which the account balance for each month, February 1st, March 1st, and so on, forms the following sequences. Write the first three terms of each sequence. All right, so if we want an arithmetic sequence, remember that arithmetic means that we're adding every time and there's no interest being accrued or anything. We're just adding the same amount every time. So um, we could say that um, each month $20 is deposited. Oops, I forgot is. Um, $20 is deposited into the account. All right, so what that means is we're not accruing any interest. This is a just a checking account that doesn't accrue interest. Um, and so um, it could be like, um, let's say maybe the bank start, the account starts with, uh, well, it starts with $120. So you have $120 in January. Then you would have $140 February 1st, $160 in March. And so those would be the first three terms, and then you'd continue to add 20 every time. All right, so let's take a look at the geometric sequence. Um, we can say that each month um, the account earns 10% interest. Okay, so the first month there's $120, and then the next month is gonna be 110% of that. And so what we can do is we can um, bring in our calculator. We'll just use scientific. Um, so I'll make this a little bit smaller. So you have $120, and you're multiplying by 110% because you have 100% of what you had plus another 10%. Um, so times 1.1, and so we end up with $132, right, for the second month for February. Then we're taking that 132, so the answer, times again 1.1 because it's growing by 110, or yeah, 110, well, it's growing by 10%. So you have 110% of what you had the month before. And then you would keep multiplying each month by 1.1. All right, let's take a look at um, the next part. All right, so we have a shrinking a passport photo. The distance from Elena's chin to the top of her head is 150. Let's move that over so it's a little bit bigger. Um, it's 150 millimeters uh, in an image. For a US passport photo, this measurement needs to be between 25 and 35 millimeters. So she needs to shrink her photo so that it will be um, the regulation size. Um, and so um, we're gonna find the height of the image after it has been scaled by 80% the following number of times. So if we scale it by 80%, three times, what will that be? So let's, we're gonna use our calculator to help us here. All right, so we have 150 millimeters and we are scaling that by 80%. So we would have 120 millimeters. And actually, since we're going to show our reasoning, I'll write that down. So we had 150 times 0.8 gives us 120. So that's the first time. Then we're gonna take that answer and multiply by 0.8. So then 120 times 80% is 96. And then we'll do that one more time. So times 0.8. So 96 times 80% which gives us 76.8 millimeters, and that is still too big for the passport. Um, and so, 
Here, let's do this. There we go. And then we're going to take that 76.8 and multiply by 80%. So we'll come back to our calculator, multiply that by 80%. So we get 61.44, and then 61.44 times 0.8. Let's come back to the calculator. Times 0.8 is 49.152. Whoa. So that's five times. So then we have one more time, 49.152 times 80%, so they'll come back to the calculator, multiply that by 80%, and we get 39.3216 millimeters. Um, and so six times is not going to work. Um, so let's try a seventh time. All right, so we're gonna take that answer and multiply by 0.8, and that will work. So seven times will work. All right, so we can find that it would be seven times using um, an exponential function or a geometric se uh, sequence. Um, so if you look at uh, our starting amount, which was 150, and we are multiplying by 80% or 0.8 every time. It's an ugly eight. Let's fix that. Um, and then we can look at, uh, if we raise that to the seventh power, we got about 31.5. Um, and that fits within the 25 to 35 millimeters. Um, so for number three, how many times would the image need to be scaled by 80% to be less than 25 millimeters? Um, so we could continue with our pattern. Um, and if we go over here to the calculator, um, that was our seventh. So let's try an eighth time. So we're going to multiply that by 0.8. Um, and that's 25.165 or approximately 25.2. Um, so if we say, okay, well, 150 times 0.8 to the eighth is approximately 25.2. We want it to be less than 25 millimeters, so let's try uh, nine times. And that is going to give us, oops, um, plug in our answer, and then multiply that by 0.8, and we get about 20. Um, point one. And so if we um, resize it nine times every time, if we rescale it 80% nine times, then um, we'll get below 25 millimeters. Okay. Um, let's take a look at 1.3. Um, on May 12th, a fast-growing species of algae is accidentally introduced to a pond in an urban park. The area of the pond that the algae covers doubles each day. If not controlled, the algae will cover the entire surface of the pond, depriving the fish in the pond of oxygen. At the rate it is growing, this will happen on May 24th. So on which day is the pond halfway covered? Well, if the algae is, um, the coverage is doubling each day, then the day before it's completely covered is when it will be halfway covered. So that would be May 23rd. Um, again, because it's doubling each day. So when you double half of the pond, the whole pond is now covered. Uh, on May 18th, Claire visits the park. A park caretaker mentions to her that the pond will be completely covered in less than a week. Claire thinks that the caretaker must be mistaken. Why might she find the caretaker's claim hard to believe? All right. Um, so on May 18th, let's see how much of the pond will be covered. So May 18th, um, 
Um, well, and actually, let's go backwards. Um, so on May 23rd, half the pond, so that was half the pond is covered. So that means on, let's, let's do this. On the 22nd, it would be half of half, so that's a fourth. On the 21st, it would be half of a fourth, which is one eighth. On the 20th, uh, it would be half of one eighth, so that'd be one sixteenth. On the 19th, it would be half of that, which would be one thirty second. And then on the 18th, it would be half of that, which is one sixty fourth. Um, and so that's only about, uh, let's see. 1 divided by 64 is about 1.6%. Only 1.6% of the pond is covered at that point. Um, and so she might think, well, that's not much of the pond, so I don't think that's true, um, even though it actually would be true. And that's where exponential functions can really make a big impact. Um, all right, so what fraction of the area of the pond was covered by the algae initially on May 12th? Well, May 12th is 12 days before May 24th. So it took 12 days for the pond to be fully covered. Um, and so remember that on the day before, uh, it was one half of the, the pond was covered. And so um, if you notice the pattern from part two, we are raising that power or that one half to the power of however many days. Um, and so this would be one over two to the 12th. Um, so that's, let's see, what is that? One divided by two <clears throat> to the 12th. So that's Oh dear. All right, so we're gonna move that decimal four places to the left. So that's approximately 0002, which is about 0.02%. Zero no, 0 0.02%, not 0.002%. Move the decimal two places. And that is our percentage.